What's going on people? OG Blue Hat here. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about dress code. I was going to make this video gender specific, but then again, I realized that we live in the year 2018, going on 19. There's guys that dress like girls, there's girls that dress like guys, there's people that dress like they're in the future, there's people that dress like they're in the past. I don't judge, more importantly, I don't care. Therefore, this advice applies to whatever you identify yourself with. Hey guys, I'm currently editing the dress code video right now and I hate how insensitive I sound in this last scene. I'm not gonna go into a rant, at least I'm trying not to, but I just have to clarify a few things. Every CCC center is LGBTQ friendly and it's a place where you can dress how you wanna dress and be who you are as long as it's appropriate. And when I say appropriate, I mean under the basic guidelines that I'm, that I'm about to cover in this video. I just wanna clarify that I support what anybody wants to be or see themselves as. You're entitled to your own life and should be able to be yourself wherever you go in life. And I just want to apologize for how insensitive I sounded in the last scene. Okay, now back to the video. You're unable to wear super short shorts, crop tops, or anything else that's revealing. And trust me, I'm your age, so I understand why you would want to wear that clothing. It's trendy, comfortable, and it keeps you cool on a hot day. And if you really do want to wear that clothing, then I suggest wearing it off the center so you don't have to hear administration's mouth or have an EEO complaint filed against you from a fellow core member. You also can't wear clothing with beer, drugs, sexual activity, or alcohol on it. You also can't wear clothing that promotes gangs, but nobody can stop you from wearing a certain color. You can wear all red, all blue, all black, hell, all rainbow if you wanted to. But you will be asked to change if your shirt spells out Yosemite Crips <laughs> or like South Lake Tahoe drug lord with guns all over it. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, so to re uh, reiterate, no clothing with gang, sexual, alcohol, or drug symbols on it. Like, Yosemite Crips, is, is that a real thing? <laughs> I'll be making myself die. If that is a real thing, um, I don't mean to offend, okay? I, I really don't. I'm just, I just use that as an example. It may sound ridiculous, but there's also dress code for inside the dining hall. You're forbidden to wear tank tops because they're afraid that, um, that your armpit hair is gonna fall into the food. You also can't wear open toe sandals or slippers. And as president, I was really trying to change this. They forbid open toed uh, sandals or slippers because they're scared that you're gonna file for workers comp if hot food falls on your foot. And they're also scared of you dropping a knife on your foot, but all the knives are super dull. And the last reason why they banned open toe sandals or slippers is because of people's feet. And this one, I mean, I actually agree with it. It would be nasty if you're eating and someone's feet smell like a skunk on diarrhea. And that's not even a joke. There's some people that just have poor hygiene and uh, yeah, just, just wait and see, you'll find out. I'm not sure if this rule applies to any other CCC centers, but at Tahoe, we're unable to wear our uniforms to dinner. After work, we're sent to our rooms to change out of our uniform, which kind of sucks because it takes away from our eating time but they do that because they don't want us hovering around food with a dirty uniform. You're not allowed to wear CCC gear off the center if you're not working, and that's because they're afraid that you're gonna misrepresent the program, which makes sense because what if you're caught drinking or smoking on private property wearing CCC gear? It just makes the program look bad. That's pretty much all you need to know about dress code, but if you have any other questions, just leave a comment below, email me or message me, and I'll reply back with the quickness. In the description below are products from Amazon that you'll need for when you begin working at the CCC. Other than that, please like this video if it was helpful, subscribe, and remember to strive to become the queen or king in your passions. Peace out, guys.